today I'm gonna to talk about the bioactive compounds in one of my favorite things, cordyceps. Cordyceps is full of amazing compounds that I want you to know about. Now there's several of them that have an activity on if you're an athlete, if you lift weights, if you're fatigued, it also helps with immune modulation. It also helps with sleep. So we're gonna cover those bioactive compounds because what it does, it gives us an opportunity to say, hey, listen, this may be a thing that I may need in order to actually make sure that all parts of those systems are functioning properly. So let's talk about it. Number one, the one thing I love about cordyceps is something really simple. It's called cordyceptin. And it actually, it's very familiar because it has a kind of a weird name that I want you guys to understand. It's called 3 d oxy adenosine. Now, adenosine is also one of the components I want you to know, but let's even talk about this. Here's one thing. It's actually studied in human trials. It does a fantastic job. And I want to talk about why is it so familiar? Why does adenosine sound so familiar? Because adenosine triphosphate is ATP energy production. So understand that ATP is just our energy houses that our mitochondria needs that way. So once again, bioactive compounds in cordyceps, you know, feeds the mitochondria. And that's why they've seen enhanced, once again, ATP production, but also better mitochondria function. It's well studied, it's fantastic. Second of all, it enhances something that is very popular right now, VO2 max, and also increasing endurance in athletes and recovery. So that compounds alone, if you're lifting weights, exercising, athletic, but even on the flip side, because adenosine is actually very important to calm a person down, it's actually gonna have a major effect on your sleep. Because what happens, adenosine builds up through the day and then it's used significantly at night to actually calm down. Now, why does that sound familiar also? Because a lot of people think caffeine is more about, you know, a stimulant. Well, really what it does, caffeine binds to the adenosine receptors and so it's like an antagonist to it that way. And that's why when you, you don't have enough adenosine, regardless of caffeine or not, that's why a lot of people can't handle it because they're not getting enough adenosine in their system. And sometimes they need it so for so much energy production, they don't have things left over at night and they might have energy during the day and have a hard time sleeping. I can honestly tell you, I take on a daily basis. I don't sleep bad, but it just seems like I could fall asleep better. We hear about mitochondrial function so much. And that's really important because we know we need that for metabolic process. We know we need it for hormonal things. We need it for many factors. And the one thing that I want to talk about even more now, is just even the immune factors. That's one thing. It's known to modulate the immune system. Why? Because the active components in here are made to enhance, you know, macrophages, natural killer cell activity. And I hate that they kind of say this a little bit because it's kind of a blanket that says it reduces inflammation. Well, it might have a positive impact on the immune system and maybe be able to deal with some pathogen that way and then inflammation will come down. But an immune response dealing with some pathogen isn't bad unless it stays there chronically. So when I look at cordyceps, I really love the fact what it does on the immune system. And, and here's another factor, respiratory, respiratory. See, the one thing I talked about that was really good for athletes because it increases your VO2 max, but also has a, a major effect on just how our respiratory system works. I actually love it because it's used as support. Now, I don't like that once again, that they talk about, you know, with asthmatic, uh, asthmatic or bronchitis, but what it does it improves lung function and oxygen utilization. Another factor that I know a lot of people are gonna like is actually the anti-aging and longevity factor of it that way. Now, why? Because it's known to reduce lipid peroxidation and just think of it like oxidative stress happening and what it does now it protects the mitochondria now it promotes longevity by one skim and most things because there is a positive benefit to the mitochondria another factor that nobody thinks about is its neuroprotective factors it's known to be anti-inflammatory and anti-apoptotic when it comes to the effects of neural tissue which means it protects them from the dying apoptosis is where there's programmed cell death well it's a protective mechanism for our neuro now, the great thing is because of the effect, it says it may aid in cognitive performance and protect against neurodegeneration. I think there needs to be a little bit more study on that. But once again, they're seeing positive changes when people do take this. Now, so if we look at the vast amount of people that would benefit from it, it'd be somebody that works out, somebody that pushes their body hard on a regular basis, somebody that seems like they have a form of fatigue, somebody that once again, that has some immune factors, somebody that may have some cognition issues. So therefore, like I said, as you recap and watch this video, again, definitely take a look at the bioactive compounds and the effect it has on your body. And I think you'd be majorly impressed of what it can do for a lot of people. If you liked what you heard in this video, please do me a favor, go down below and click on the aging and longevity video below.